has been breached. The merchant lords of Slithriel have broken through. Another attempt to colonize Zor with their parasitic abominations, no doubt. What is this? The 200th time we have to kick them out? Let's make this their shortest visit ever. Fire up the ovens! Oi vey! It appears those pesky xenophobes don't want us to dominate their dimension. I will not tolerate this intolerance! Madman! Enrich their culture with vibrant diversity. They're setting up a flank attack. I've got a plan. Let's give them free food. What? Their home planet is only a shithole because we haven't been generous enough with them. It has nothing at all to do with genetics. If you say so. From the bountiful depths of the fertile earth. I summon forth all manner of edible vegetation. Now's our chance to blitzkrieg the mothership. That food won't last forever. Get out there. <gasps> oh my god, no. They're torturing children. <laughs> Don't you fools know that interfering with our blood ritual is a hate crime? Tell us how to set them free. It's simple. Just pull that lever right behind you. Why did she just tell us? Because I asked nicely. It's gotta be a trick. You're outnumbered. Say goodbye to your porcelain skin and superior IQs. Mugman, seize the Goyim and black them. Black them all. them off. Hi, Menta. Open a portal. Get us out of here. I didn't bring any formulas with me, and I only have one charge on my talisman. We won't be able to return. Just open a portal to anywhere. We'll figure it out later. Don't worry. We'll find a way to get you guys out. Hang in there. Figures, we land in the middle of nowhere. So what's our first move? Guess we head for the closest populated planet and search for clues. Our first priority should be to schmooze our way into influential positions. Then we systematically replace their values with vices that can be exploited for profit. And of course, as my grandfather always said, every conquest must begin by harvesting the foreskins. That's your big plan. Uh, I was thinking something a little less complicated. Like, maybe trying to befriend them? But why? Wouldn't you like to settle down with a nice fellow white person like me and rule over an entire planet? Oh my god, he's serious. <laughs> a regular Prince Charming over here. Must be that superior verbal intelligence we keep hearing about. Hey, what is it with you and foreskins anyway? Why, it's an ancient religious tradition among my people. You're not a bigot, are you? Well, when you put it that way, yeah, yeah, I guess I am. Looks like we found our home for the night. So, have we decided on a game plan that doesn't involve foreskins? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is intuit the divine intention for guidance. Excellent idea. And a thorax always knows just what to do. Who the hell is that? Oh, it's Metathorax. The way my people see him. You see, we don't submit to Metathorax. We manipulate his powers. Are you ever not manipulating something? Well, just keep this creep out of my psychic space.
Greetings, my child. Tell me, are you in need or have you just come to the twelfth dimension to tell me how wonderful I am? In need. We've been banished to a strange planet and we need to find a way back to Zor. I'm afraid the men have been imprisoned. The eleventh dimension may fall into the hands of invading barbarians. Okay, okay, slow down. You can handle this. Tell me, what color is your environment? Um, bluish? Ah, you're in a pocket dimension of pure mercy. You must tread carefully, for there will be many perilous trials for one accustomed to opposing forces. Okay, but like, what do we have to do? Do? One doesn't do in a realm of mercy. One simply allows. You'll not find a single civilization in your midst. That's because building anything requires intention, will, and force. Three principles that are strictly prohibited in this zone. So we're just supposed to sit still and do nothing? You can still act. But tell me, how do you lower dimension beings manage to thrive without planning or strategizing? Instinct, I guess? Or like, intuition? Hmm, you're very clever. Maybe try that. But how will we know if we're on the right path? The answer is right in front of you, dum-dum. I got stuff to do now. Gotta go! Wait! What did he tell you? We have to follow the sun. That's what flowers do. That's how we escape. Um, that's very poetic and everything. But the sun kind of moves in a big circle. We won't actually get anywhere if we do that. Doesn't matter. We aren't supposed to. We just need to keep moving and try not to disturb anything. If we rely only on our instincts and show mercy at all times, the gate will present itself. Sounds too easy. I just hope we can find it fast. I'm really worried about the guys. Me too. Where did cheese go? I don't know. Where did cheese go? I don't know. I don't know. Where did cheese go? I don't know. Where did cheese go? I don't know. I don't know. Where did cheese go? I don't know. Question. What energy supplies over half the homes in America? Natural gas. What energy travels through America's most efficient energy delivery system? Gas again. What energy is basic, potentially renewable, and could last for generations? Gas once more. Conclusion. America depends on natural gas. It's our most efficient energy system today and can be counted on long into the future. Gas. The future belongs to the efficient. You snake! You once said we were your greatest ally. Didn't we help you get a planet of your own? Why can't you just stay there and mind your own business? Fools! Planet Slitherail was always intended to be nothing more than a base from which to plan our takeover of Zor. But you're such failures. How many times do you need to be defeated? You don't understand because you can't think like a virus. Vaccination only makes those of us who survive stronger. We have learned how to weaponize our defeats. As long as you make getting defeated the defining characteristic of your people, you can demand reparations from everyone. Forever! I thought you hated the mud men. Don't you exterminate them on your home planet? Of course we hate them! These idiots can't think beyond their immediate desires. But why destroy what can be so easily turned against your true enemies? What are you doing? These creatures produce a most fascinating secretion. When contact with the skin is made, the IQ of the affected life form drops by 30 points. Dumb enough to completely misunderstand abstract concepts like freedom and liberty. Oh, turn it off! Don't fight it. Soon even you will gladly hand over your own children for a bowl of gruel and some cheap distractions. And you will vote for this treatment with 95% predictability. Make it stop. 
Uh-oh. Don't you enjoy the feeling of mud flowing through your veins? You aren't some kind of racist, are you? No. No. P please, don't call me that. Anything but that. I'll do whatever you ask. <laughs> it's working! You're already becoming dominated by my magic words. Once this dimension is completely saturated with mud, seizing control will be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> well, cave looks safe enough. I guess we can set up camp here. Look! Oh my god, white babies! The best kind. Disgusting. These are the souls of unborn babies. They're too scared to inhabit new bodies because they were murdered by their mothers. They'll be trapped here forever. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, they just haven't been aborted enough. Obviously, our job here is to set them free from the cycle of life. They must be double aborted. I think the most merciful thing we could do right now is to abort you. Vagina. Maybe he has a point. I mean, imagine being doomed to reincarnate into some sick world where you're betrayed by the one person whose sacred duty is to protect you at all costs. Maybe we are supposed to end this cycle. Yeah. Hmm? What the? Whoa. Harold, my disciple, do not destroy the unborn souls. They possess within them the great serpent's power of legend. The urge to create life is the most powerful force in the universe. Follow my commands, and together we will transform them into demonic agents of anti-life. First, you must teach the males and females to hate each other. Then, preoccupy them with unlimited porn and sex robots. Finally, render them sterile with chemicals, and force them to purchase artificial versions of their reproductive organs. In this way, all of their serpent power can be harnessed into doing our will only. Follow these commands, and you will be given dominion over its slaves to do with as you wish. Do not disappoint me. Did Metathorax give you advice? Yes. I was wrong. Let them live. I figured as much. But what are we supposed to do? Just leave them suspended here for eternity? Of course! Metathorax said to follow your instincts. We just have to be mommies and make them feel unafraid to live again. That way, the life force within them can reach its highest potential and eventually achieve oneness with Metathorax. Well, whip them out, girls. We got a long night ahead of us. can withstand one billion kilotons of kinetic pressure. Only the Big Bang itself could damage it. Implis Shekinah. What is it? Lord Zog has appeared on the comlink. Out of my way! How may I serve you, Lord? Have the Mudmen completed their task? The plan is well underway. Our Mudmen should have every inch of Zor completely saturated in a few hours. Excellent. I have made contact with your agent, Commander Harold, and instructed him to initiate Phase 2. I set aside an area for the cultivation of several million pure life force vessels. You must ensure that none of these slaves become a threat to our plans. If any of them manage to resist the conditioning, pull that switch to annihilate all life on the planet. It's better to start over than face a rebellion of awoken slaves. Do not let me down. As you command, my lord. Oof, my nips. If that doesn't buy us a ticket out of here, nothing will. Who would have thought? Hey, look. We did it! That's got to be the key out of here. Now we just need to find the gate and we're home free! Oh my god. No! You just couldn't resist, could you? I knew we should have killed you. Now we'll never get out of here. <laughs> you 
don't know what it's like. You think you're uncomfortable in a strange land? Just imagine my people. For thousands of years, we were cast out into the wilderness by every planet we tried to live in. All we ever wanted was to worship in our own way, free from persecution. But they despised us for our intelligence. They despise us for simply wanting to exist. Our people are cursed with this terrible fate. No one in the universe has developed the compassion required to love our people precisely as we need to be loved. I guess we're just... complicated. Oh, cry me a river. Six Gorillion! Yeah, not gonna work. You literally reek of infant foreskin. Just talking to you is exhausting. You're hopeless. I guess we have no choice but to continue wandering the desert until something happens. <sighs> Let's get going. Aren't you going to at least apologize to the babies before we leave? No. For what? I'm God's chosen people. All I'm saying is, if you're getting kicked out of thousands of planets over the span of thousands of years, like, maybe it's you. Maybe it's time to look at your own behavior. That's impossible. How dare you? Look! Hey, maybe that's the gateway out of here. May as well check it out. At least we can mark it on our map. Hi, um, we tried to, like, do something nice for these babies, um, back there, uh, and for a second this key was, like, glowing blue. I was wondering if you could- Silence! Step aside, Coyum. The serpent is the one I have made covenant with. Come forth and deliver me an offering of a hundred foreskins. You have made an oath to deliver me. Just give him the stupid sack already so we can go home. What have you done? We made a deal! Who are we going to get home now? <laughs> you fools! What would I want to go back for? I have all the foreskins I could ever dream of. Now I will rule over this planet and you will be my personal harem. You fiend! <laughs> Don't even think of stopping me. Soon my NPC army will construct the third temple of Slithriel on this very site. Then they will spread throughout the entire universe, building monuments to me on every planet. <laughs> Congratulations. You have shown mercy where others would surely have not. For this, you have passed my trial. Take this rare legendary drop. Pass through this portal and return to your homeland. Use my gift to set your companions free. It is not too late to save them, but you must hurry. Wait! You can't just leave me here! Come back! Okay, can someone give me a quick rundown on what's going on here? Get us out of here! Kill them all! Rip their heads off! No, we were told that we must show mercy. Come to your senses, woman. An overabundance of mercy is just as destructive as unrestrained might. It takes both for there to be justice. But mercy is good. What you're talking about is surrender! He's mansplaining! His masculinity makes all of his words toxic. <clears throat> Listen to a fellow woman. Here. I have a new word for you. Hmm. Slitherphobe. A slitherphobe is someone who doesn't do exactly what I tell them to do. All of the time. It's the worst thing you could ever be called. You wouldn't want to be called a slitherphobe, now would you? Oh no, please don't call me a slitherphobe. I'll do anything. We didn't mean to be problematic. 
Please put us into the jail cell so we can think about our unearned privilege. <laughs> if you go in there, Zor is doomed. The future of Zor is not, and that's a good thing. Establish a calm link with Herod. Soon this entire mudball will be crawling with our NPC slaves. And just like that, it's over. To witness the complete destruction of all that our forefathers have created, I... Perhaps it was too much to hope that the light could shine forever. Of virtues there are but four. Fortitude, temperance, justice, and prudence. They bring balance to the opposite forces, and thus can never be in excess. What are you waiting for? Destroy it! Tolerance will never be counted among these virtues, for an excess of tolerance makes even those forces seek to create chaos. It is a fool who tolerates outsiders who sow degradation, darkness, and division within their own lands for profit. These words mean less than nothing to this confused generation. But you must remember them. The eternal light will always seek to make itself known. And the darkness, though always close, will never succeed in concealing it for long. We always use it.